Welcome to Fresh Feed Updates. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. The air in Manila is thick with heat, diesel, and the collective sigh of millions. Every breath feels heavy, as if the city itself is exhaling exhaustion. The haze that hangs over the skyline is more than just pollution. It's a visible reminder of the daily struggle faced by its people. It's 6 p.m. on EDSA, traffic is at a standstill. The city's main artery, meant to keep Manila moving, has become a parking lot stretching for miles. Engines idle, tempers flare, and the sun sets on a city that never seems to arrive where it's going. Horns blare, street vendors weave between cars, and a young mother in a jeepney fans her sleeping child, watching another hour slip by. For many, this is the only way home, a journey measured not in distance but in patience and endurance. The city's pulse is felt in the restless shuffling of feet and the quiet hopes of those just trying to get back to their loved ones. The promise of family dinner and helping with homework fades with every passing minute. Children wait at tables growing cold, parents miss bedtime stories, and the simple joys of togetherness are lost to the relentless crawl of traffic. This isn't just a traffic jam, it's a daily crisis that steals time, energy, and opportunity. Each wasted hour is a missed chance to rest, to learn, to connect. The cost is measured not only in lost productivity, but in the quiet sacrifices made by millions. Workers arrive drained, students late, families fractured by distance and delay. The city's rhythm is out of sync, its people forced to adapt to a schedule dictated by congestion, rather than choice. Billions of pesos are lost daily in wasted fuel and lost business. The economic toll is staggering, with small businesses closing early and families stretching every peso to make ends meet. The price of gridlock is paid by everyone, from the street vendor to the CEO. The city's growth is choked by its own roads. As Manila expands, its infrastructure struggles to keep up, leaving progress stalled and dreams deferred. The promise of a brighter future is clouded by the reality of daily gridlock. People adapt with resilience and humor, but beneath it all is a deep yearning for change. Laughter and camaraderie fill the gaps, but the desire for a better way forward is ever-present, simmering beneath the surface. The demand is for more than wider roads, it's for a complete reimagining of infrastructure. People dream of efficient trains, reliable buses, and walkable streets. They imagine a city where movement is easy and time is a gift, not a casualty. How can a nation prosper when its people spend their lives stuck in traffic? The question lingers in every frustrated glance, every anxious check of the clock. Progress is measured not just in GDP, but in the quality of daily life. The call for change is urgent. Citizens are raising their voices, demanding solutions that go beyond quick fixes. The future of Manila depends on bold action and visionary leadership. It's a demand for a future where time is spent with family, not in gridlock. Where parents can be present, children can thrive, and communities can grow stronger together. The journey to a better life shouldn't be defined by congestion. Manila stands at a crossroads between the frustration of today and the hope of tomorrow. The choice is clear, invest in change or risk losing what matters most, time, opportunity, and the simple joys of living. Manila's congestion is rooted in decades of underinvestment and patchwork solutions. As the population grew, infrastructure lagged far behind. Roads, railways, and airports strained, then broke under pressure. The result, a bottleneck that stifled progress and opportunity. Businesses struggled, investors hesitated, and millions relied on an overburdened public transport system. Congestion deepened social divides and limited economic growth. Public frustration simmered, but acceptance was never surrender. The status quo became unsustainable, a shared national grievance. This discontent created a powerful political imperative for change. The lesson was clear. A modern economy can't be built on crumbling infrastructure. The stage was set for a bold new vision. In response, the government launched Build Better More, a sweeping infrastructure initiative. This isn't just construction, it's a new era for the Philippines. The program aims to connect the archipelago with modern railways, airports, bridges, and digital networks. It's about building a foundation for prosperity and equity. Millions of jobs are being created, and world-class infrastructure is taking shape. Farmers reach markets faster, students access global knowledge, and businesses compete internationally. Build Better More is an investment in people and the future. It marks a turning point, no more patching old problems, but building for tomorrow. The commitment is bold, tackling congestion, isolation, and outdated systems head-on. The promise a more connected, prosperous Philippines. 
The future is no longer a distant hope, it's under construction, the nation is moving forward, together. At the heart of the Philippines' transportation revolution stands the North-South Commuter Railway, a visionary project stretching 147 kilometers of state-of-the-art electric rail, seamlessly connecting Clark in the north to Calamba in the south. This ambitious line is more than just a railway, it's a lifeline that will transform how millions of Filipinos travel every single day. The NSCR is the new iron spine of Luzon, forging vital links between central Luzon, the bustling heart of Metro Manila, and the dynamic region of Calabarzon. For the first time, these major economic and residential hubs are connected by a fast, reliable, and sustainable rail network. Imagine commutes that once dragged on for hours, now taking less than one. The NSCR slashes travel times, making daily journeys faster, more comfortable, and stress-free. No more endless traffic jams or wasted hours, just smooth, efficient travel. But this transformation isn't just about saving time, it's about reclaiming precious moments. It means parents can be home for dinner, children can spend more time with family, and friends can reconnect more often. The NSCR gives people back the hours that matter most. Along the railway, vibrant new communities will spring up. Families will thrive in neighborhoods designed for convenience and connection, with parks, schools and businesses all within easy reach. The NSCR is not just a route, it's a catalyst for new beginnings. The project is already creating tens of thousands of jobs from construction to operations and is fueling regional growth. It's opening doors for skilled workers, engineers and local businesses, building a stronger economy for everyone. For businesses, the NSCR means direct access to key markets and ports, making it easier to move goods and attract investment. By decentralizing industries, it encourages growth beyond Metro Manila, spreading opportunity across Luzon. The NSCR is also a catalyst for a greener, more sustainable future. By reducing the number of cars on the road, it cuts congestion and pollution, helping to create cleaner air and healthier cities for generations to come. It's a forward-thinking solution, tackling economic, social, and environmental challenges all at once. The NSCR is proof that progress and sustainability can go hand in hand. This railway moves more than just people, it moves the entire nation forward, uniting communities and inspiring pride in what Filipinos can achieve together. The NSCR stands as a powerful symbol of progress and hope, a testament to the country's vision and determination. The Philippines is on the move, toward a brighter, more connected and more sustainable future for all. Deep beneath Manila, the city's first subway is taking shape. The Metro Manila subway will connect Quezon City to the airport, slashing commutes from hours to minutes. Modern climate-controlled stations will create a seamless, comfortable transit experience. The subway will boost productivity, raise property values, and create jobs. It's built with advanced Japanese technology, resilient against earthquakes and flooding. By moving commuters underground, it will ease surface traffic and pollution. The subway is a bold leap into a more livable, competitive and sustainable future. It's the silent pulse driving Manila forward. North of the capital, the new Manila International Airport is rising in Bulacan. Designed as a world-class aerotropolis, it will handle 100 million passengers a year. Four runways and a state-of-the-art terminal will end the delays and congestion of the old airport. Linked to Metro Manila by expressways and the NSCR, travel will be smooth and efficient. The airport will drive economic growth, create jobs and boost trade and tourism. Environmental resilience is built in with coastal defenses and mangrove restoration. The NMIA is the nation's new front door, welcoming opportunity and ambition. The Philippines is ready for the world. Along Manila Bay, new land is rising from the sea, master-planned cities designed for the future. These smart green urban centers will decongest old Manila and offer a higher quality of life. Wide roads, bike lanes, mass transit and parks are at the heart of the design. Billions in investment and hundreds of thousands of jobs will follow. The developments promise economic growth, but also face environmental scrutiny. Advanced coastal defenses and green corridors are part of the plan. The challenge balance economic potential with sustainability. Manila Bay's new cities are a bold bet on the future. The Build Better. More program is weaving the islands together with iconic bridges and expressways. From Batan Cavite to Panay Guimaras Negros, these links are transforming regional economies. Farmers, students and families will travel in hours, not days. New connections mean lower costs, more jobs and expanded markets. Tourism will flourish and communities will grow closer. These projects are the arteries of commerce and unity, 
They complement new railways, airports, and seaports, creating an integrated transport network. No island is left behind. Every province joins the journey to progress. The Philippines is building bridges to its future. Today, the hum of construction is the new sound of the Philippines. Across the archipelago, the clang of steel and the whir of machines echo a nation in motion. From the first light of dawn, workers gather on bustling sites, building not just structures but the very future of their communities. The skyline is changing and with it the hopes of millions are rising. EDSA's traffic is easing as new transport options emerge. Elevated expressways and modern train lines now weave through the city, connecting neighborhoods that once felt worlds apart. Commuters who once spent hours in gridlock now find their journeys faster and more comfortable, opening up new possibilities for work and leisure. The Build Better More program is now a reality, not just a promise. What was once a vision on paper has become a network of highways, bridges, and public spaces, each one a testament to determination and progress. These projects are transforming the landscape and the lives of everyday Filipinos. From subways tunneling beneath the city to bridges spanning rivers, the nation is transforming before our eyes. Every new structure is a step toward a more connected, resilient, and forward-looking Philippines. Families have better access to opportunity, and entrepreneurs reach bigger markets. Children travel safely to school, parents find jobs closer to home, and small businesses thrive as customers and suppliers become more accessible than ever before. Infrastructure is fueling a cycle of growth and improved quality of life. New roads and parks bring communities together, while upgraded neighborhoods offer safer, cleaner, and more vibrant places to live and work. This is about more than structures. It's about a new national mindset. Filipinos are embracing innovation, collaboration, and a shared vision for a better tomorrow. The spirit of progress is alive in every corner of the city. Filipinos are shifting from making do to making possible. Young minds are dreaming bigger, students and professionals are seizing new opportunities, and communities are working together to shape their own destinies. The projects are a symbol of collective will and ambition. Every bridge, road, and building stands as proof of what can be achieved when a nation unites with purpose and pride. The foundation is laid and the direction is clear. With every milestone reached, the Philippines moves closer to a future where progress is shared by all and no one is left behind. Every Filipino can now dream, work, and thrive, no matter where they're born. From the city's heart to the farthest provinces, opportunity is within reach and hope is alive in every community. The cranes and tunnels are building hope, not just infrastructure. Each project is a promise kept, a future secured, and a testament to the resilience and optimism of the Filipino people. The future is now, and it's brighter than ever. As the city lights shine and new possibilities unfold, the Philippines stands ready to embrace a new era of growth, unity, and boundless potential.